Hello guys, in this video I'll show you the practical circuit to convert binary to grey code. So let's get started. Let's see a binary number 1011. Okay. This one MSB B3 b2 b1 and b0 to convert it to gray code you have to write this msb as it is okay now you have to add with this msb to the next bit okay it means 1 plus 0 it is equal to 1 now add with 0 to 1 it means 1 and add 1 plus 1 it is equal to now see write the sum its sum equal to what is its sum its sum is 1 plus 1 as we know 1 0 now here 0 is our sum and 1 is our carry okay so you have to write the sum and you have to neglect its carry so this is our required grey code. This one G3, G2, G1, G0. See another example. Let's say 1, 1, 1, 0. Now write the MSB as it is and add it to its next bit and write the sum. Its sum will be 0 and we have to neglect its carry ok 1 plus 1 equal to 1 0 and again we have to write its sum and we have to add 1 plus 0 it is 1 ok so this is our required grey code now from this two example mathematically we can write it as this first bit it means b3 equal to as it is g3 so we can write it as G3 now for this bit it is G2 it is the successive one so we are getting 0 and the odd bit we are getting 1 here so here we can see it is an XOR function as we know in the XOR if the input is same then the output will be 0 and if the input is odd then its output will be 1 for 1 0 also its output is 1 and if the input is 1 1 then the output will be 0 1 x or 0 its output is 1 see we are getting 1 here 0 x or 1 0 x or 1 we are getting 1 here see and again 1 x or 1 we can see 0 this function and if you take this example to get g2 1 x or 1 so it is 0 we have written 0 and 1 x or 0 it is 1 so g2 equal to b3 x or b2 ok and again to get g1 here this one b2 so write b2 x or b1 will get g1 and to get g0 we have to do b1 xor b0 so this is the function we have to do in the practical circuit ok now write the xor table again a b are the input and y is output and I have already explained this thing link in the description below now let's take another example now let's say given binary number is 1111 one, one, one. now this time we will convert this with the help of this table now see this as we have to write this thing as it is the MSB now see we have to add this one with this one so it is equal to 0 now with this one we have to add this 2 so it is equal to 0 
it is equal to 0. Let's take another example 1010. 0, 1, 0. Write the MSB as it is. Now see 10110 0, 1, 0 means 1, 0, 01 means 1, 10 0 means 1. Now from this we can say the exal function is applied to convert binary to gray code. Now we have to make a practical circuit according to these equations. Okay. Now I'll write this equation here. Now we can make the practical circuit from this. As we are converting binary to gray code, so our input will be here and output will be this side. From the first equation we can write B3 is equal to G3. This is our first equation. Now for the G2 we need a XOR gate. So here is our XOR gate. Okay. This will be our G2. And G2 is equal to B3. So we have to connect it here. It is B3. And we need B2. So it is our B2. Okay. This is equal to G2. Now for the G1, we need another XOR gate. Okay. And this is our G1. And G1 is equal to B2. So we'll take B2 from here. And we need B1. So this is our G1. For G0, we need another XOR gate. And this is our G0. For this we need B1. I'll take B1 from here. And we need another input B0. So this is the basic circuit to convert binary to gray code. Now we have to add some resistors and LEDs to this. Okay. Now for the output side we need LED and one resistor and this is connected to ground the value is 220 ohms so this is all about our output now come to the input side for the input we have to add one switch and here we have to apply plus 5 volt now add another switch and we have to add plus 5 volt now whenever this switch is on B2 get activated and so on Now we have to add LEDs also for the input. So for the B3 we have to add one LED connected with 220 ohm resistor and then it is connected to ground. Okay. We have to do same for the rest. So this is the B3, B2, B1, B0. Okay. And these LEDs are G3, G2, G1 g0 now with the input of the gates we have to add one pull down resistor and it is connected to ground the value is one kilo ohm we have to do for all okay we have used four resistors for three gates for this gate the both the input is connected with a resistor okay this one and this one for this gate we have connected this resistor and this one and for this gate we have connected this resistor and this resistor okay and here for the XOR gate I am using IC 7486 okay this is XOR IC so this is the practical circuit to convert 4 bit binary code to gray code so let's see this on the breadboard first put the B3 switch this one B2 B1 B0 its one pin is connected to plus VCC ok now connect the input LEDs and then it is connected with 220 ohm resistor and it is connected to ground B2 B1 B0 now put the IC 7486 pin number 14 is connected to plus VCC pin number 7 is connected to ground now see the pin diagram of the IC 
this is the IC 7486 and pin number 7 is connected to ground pin number 14 is connected to plus VCC here it is 5 volt as we need 3 gates so we'll use this gate this one and this one the input of the first gate is 1 2 and for the output it uses pin number 3 so here it is pin 1 pin 2 and the output is pin 3 for the gate number 2 pin 4 and 5 are the inputs and pin number 6 is the output so pin 4 pin 5 is the input and pin 6 is the output for this gate the pin number 9 and 10 are the inputs and pin number 8 is output so pin number 9 and 10 are the input and pin number 8 is the output now see this on the breadboard for G3 we do not need any gate so we can put it simply like this ok and one end of the resistor is connected to ground and as you can see in the circuit diagram the LED is connected pin number 1 of the IC and B3 switch is connected to pin number 1 as you can see in the circuit diagram ok so this is our G3 now for the G2 the anode pin of the LED is connected to pin number 3 of the IC and pin number 2 is connected to B2 switch and also you can see in the circuit diagram pin number 2 and 4 both are connected together now put the G1 LED the cathode of the LED is connected to ground through a 220 ohm resistor and G1 LED is connected to pin number 6 and pin 5 is connected to B1 switch now connect pin 5 and pin 9 together now put G0 LED the anode pin is connected to pin number 8 and pin number 10 is connected to B0 switch now put all the pull down resistor now I'm connecting one pull down resistor with pin number 1 now connect another resistor either pin number 2 or pin number 4 I'm connecting it to pin number 4 now connect another resistor either pin number 5 or pin number 9 I'm connecting it to pin number 9 ok it is connected now connect another one to pin number 10 ok so our circuit connection is done now connect both the positive rail both the negative rail now connect the power supply here is our negative and here is our positive see it is whether 0 or not the input is 0 0 0 0 and the output we should get right the first bit as it is and add this so 0 plus 0 it is 0 0 0 it is 0 here so 0 again 0 plus 0 again 0 so we are getting 0 now first example we have seen here 1 0 1 1 so 1 0 1 1 so what we are getting triple 1 0 whether it is triple 1 0 or not see we have seen 1 1 1 0 and the second example we have seen 1 1 1 0 so triple 1 0 is our input 1 0 0 1 so it is 1 0 0 1 in the output and another example we have seen all 1 so all 1 and the output should be 1 0 0 0 see we are getting 1 0 0 0 another example we have seen 1 0 1 0 so 1 0 1 0 we are getting all 1 so this is how we have practically converted the binary code to gray code so guys this is all for today i hope you like this video if so then please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt on this then please let me know in the comment section in the next video i'll show you another topic Till then stay happy and I will see you in the next video.
Thanks for watching.